Well, hello and welcome again to another edition of Destinations. I'm Todd Atchison. I'm joined with Robin Palmer today. And we're in one of Lyon County's oldest cemeteries, and it's actually uh, the burial place of Matthew Lyon. Right, Todd, and he's the founder of Lyon County. And a lot of folks actually come in, and they're very interested in ancestry, and they want to know more about their family and where people are buried, and it's gorgeous. We're located right now next to Kentucky State Penitentiary, which is another great destination and people come from all over to see the castle that's right and people you, you may you may not understand this but i certainly feel like this is like one of the most beautiful areas i used to come up here as a kid and just hang out because it's so tranquil and it's just a relaxing place to come and maybe you can look at some of the gravestones and and pay a little tribute to our ancestors but Speaking of paying tribute, we got some things going on at the chamber that you want to talk about, and also we do. We have a couple of events coming up. the The main event that's coming up that you don't want to miss is our Harvest and Barbecue Festival in Lyon County at Old Catawba Beach, and that's September 30th and October 1st. So make sure to mark your calendar. This event is going to be huge. We have lots of great entertainers coming, Todd. Lots of vendors, food, fun for the whole family. So again, the Harvest Festival and barbecue cook-off. Now, speaking of Catawba, we had a chance to visit Harbor House in Old Catawba, one of our area's unique destinations, to show you why, if you're planning a wedding or a corporate event, you might want to keep them in mind. Hey, Phil, the place great. looks great. You've done a lot since the last time Good we've been here. You. It's yeah. great to see you. Yes, we have done a lot since the last time. So you tell us here. about it. It's gorgeous. Well, we've sort of morphed into an event center, a yes. wedding center. And this is our upper terrace here. This is where we do most of our outside weddings. As you can see, we have a garden and fountain and bridge. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a great view, too. Yes. Right here on the lake. So you guys have weddings. Mm-hmm. We do weddings, corporate retreats, uh, family reunions. Uh, we do big groups. Okay. Uh, we can do weddings outside of 120. We have inside ballrooms. I'll show you in a minute that okay. we can do 100. Uh, very elegant, but not overdone. And it's a I great place for, you know, brides to come and play for a couple of days. That's absolutely amazing. Well, show us around a little bit. Okay. Well, we call this our upper terrace. As you can see, we have a, most of the time the brides come in and go over our bridge, and there's our rusty mermaid there. It's, oh, really it's, it's pretty. We're going to put a restaurant up here in a couple of years. The name's going to be the Rusty Mermaid. This is our sort of our, really? our focal point here. Okay. But you can see the brides come over the beautiful bridge and under the willows, and then we set up out in the main terrace there. Uh, and you can see we have an antique arbor there that comes with all of our packages. So then in the background of your weddings and your events, you always have the lake Absolutely. in view. And not only that, sometimes the brides will walk across and they'll borrow the uh, marina or they'll borrow the park and the beach and we'll take a few shots over there. Okay. So we can do a lot of things here. I mean, it's, uh, it's well, a blank piece of paper and the brides can just, you know, write their own program on it. That's what I was telling Todd. We were actually talking about, you know, nice destinations in Lyon County, but not only are you a bed and breakfast, it's a little more than that. It's, it's very unique because it's, it's hard to find places like this that accommodate so many people, and it's such a gorgeous view. Well, thank you. You can do all of these events. It's, it's very nice. Yeah, we, we've morphed into an event center. I, I, we do weddings, destination weddings, one and two day weddings, although we do some local weddings too. But people come and stay for two days. Yes. They can have the rehearsal dinner here. They can have the reception here. They can have their wedding here. We can sleep 16, so the wedding party can come and stay. And, have and a that's good time great. For two the days. whole Run family can home, come exactly. So they don't have to worry about rooms. Everyone can stay in the same spot. Sure. And it's very convenient where you're located, but it's private enough for you know those special events. Mm -hmm. And we work with a lot of caterers. We have a vendors okay. list. We caterers, we have officiants, we have harpists, we have all manner of things to help the brides in planning the wedding. So Phil, what is it that you all provide here at the Harbor House for your brides and your guests when they come? Well, of course, like I said, we have 16, we can sleep 16. We have seven bedrooms, very elegant bedrooms, because wow. we are a lodging. Uh, in between weddings and events, we do offer really upscale lodging, and that comes with all of our packages. Um, it's either one day or two day, sleep 16. We do have a 
one-day package that does not include all the rooms, you know, to try to get the locals in who okay. may not need a destination wedding because we want to do that too. But for our destination package, it's the one- and two-day package. It's all of our rooms, our antique arbor, the complete use. Uh, I want to point out, we're completely private. When you do an event here, there's no one else here. And that's amazing and because it's, you it's, have the whole place to yourself. To yourself. It's All of this party. outside space and inside, and I, you know, the feeling that you get, it, it, it feels very comfortable, and like you said, it's elegant, but it's just the right. Yeah, we tell our brides, when, when they book with us for, for a day or two, this is theirs. No tourists, no intercoms, it's just theirs. Uh, we do have, all of our packages include tables and chairs for 50, the antique arbors, like I said, the rooms inside. Uh, we also have on the premises linens, more tables, more chairs, projector, audio, visual, and didn't, the whole manner of things for you to rent. The basic package, you okay. can come and get it here. Didn't you mention to me also that you have a ballroom? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. My, uh, my mom is a decorator of the ballroom. It's a very elegant space. In fact, we have two ballrooms that adjoin That's each other. That's great. You, like you said, it's the whole package. You can do the wedding, the rehearsal dinner, and the reception all, right. all here. Let's go take a look. Okay. So on our way to the ballroom, we actually ran into Mrs. Pat Gillahan. It's so great to see you, Pat. And you again, Robin. It's very nice. I'm glad and to have you here. Thank you. This is gorgeous. Well, this is almost like, you know, a hidden part. It's an amazing view. It's very quaint. The water fountains. So tell me a little bit about this area. Uh, well, first, it's a labor of love. And our guests do like it. Maybe their favorite spot. They come out here in the evening. We have a ah. firebox. We have the fountain. And generally, we have living flowers. Let's hope about that. Uh, well, but with the fall coming, I'm sure the trees, the leaves changing colors makes it such a great destination. It is. It is. And um, our, our guests, our people seem to love it. So I've heard so much about this ballroom, I just have to go take a look. But I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite spots of the Harbor House. Well, Do you mind if we take a look? I'll be glad to show you the ballroom. As oh. I said before, this is the favorite of our guests, but they seem to like the ballroom too. I think you will, and I'll be happy to show you. Well, thank you. We have beautiful pictures on the walls and the staircase. It's gorgeous. Thank you. There are some old things. Uh, I'm pretty crazy about old things, and when he lets me, I stick them on the wall or someplace. Well, it sets it apart. From Give just... you a quick view up here before we get to our bed and breakfast room. Okay. This is what we call the cob room, which, um, according to the neighborhood, the mantle was given to the original family by Irving Cobb. Wow. So it's a treasure. It's a gorgeous room. Like when you open up the blinds. Wow. We call this it's a one our gorgeous master suite. view. We call this one our master suite. And so our bridal people really utilize these to. Uh, well, they can lay in bed and watch TV and look at the lake at the uh -huh. same time. They'd... And the room that you guys came in first uh, is called the Harbor Suite good place to get ready and to mm -hmm. receive guests before the wedding so it's been used okay so i just had to sneak outside and show you guys this gorgeous view here at the harbor house we have the view of the lake katawa beach it's very quaint and a very peaceful place bring a book this is one of my favorite spots so here we are in the ballroom and i have to tell you pat this is a gorgeous place setting very elegant and you know when we went in downstairs I would have never even thought it's it's kind of hidden but it's a very large private elegant room for all of these events that you could do and that you you guys put on here it's a great place and Phil tells me that you can hold up to a hundred people inside That's that right. we have two we call them both our ballrooms uh, the lower level seats about 50, and upstairs in what we call the tin room, we'll seat, well, another 50, maybe. Okay. Something in the neighborhood thereof. I have to tell you, it's so unique and so spacious up here. I love the different levels and the, the space and the way you all have everything. It's a very nice place for those large events. Thank you so much. Yep. And uh, just as a comment, 
we have beautiful brides. So if you want to add that or not, but we nearly guarantee that all of our brides are pretty. Well, thanks so much, Phil, for having us today right here in Old Catala at the Harbor House. Gorgeous place. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming by and seeing our establishment. I saw that you met my mom, Pat, in the yes. ballroom. She's the face of the Harbor House. So all your brides who want to call and look around and make an appointment, she'll be the person that leads you around. And I'm here and not sometimes, but uh, she's the face of the Harbor House. So give them a call at 270-388-8919. And don't you also have a website? Yeah, we do. It's uh, www.katawaharborhouse.com, katawaharborhouse.com. And you can also find us on Facebook on Katawa is for Lovers. And we have a lot of recent shots of events, uh, pictures from recent weddings, things so like that. Stay in the loop and stay informed because I'm very interested in the progress in the restaurant that's coming soon. So I like all the changes and everything that you guys are making. Thanks. Well, thank Things you. are looking great. Thank you. So have a great day, Phil. You too. Well, thanks for joining us here on Destinations. Again, we're coming to you today from... Uh, the old cemetery in Old Edible, and I encourage you guys, if you get a chance, just drive by. It sounds crazy, but it's a wonderful spot for a picnic or just to stop and relax. And we wanted to thank the folks over at Harbor House. And I believe we had one more event for the Chamber we wanted to talk about coming up. Yes, the annual Chamber Golf Scramble. This year is going to be held at Mineral Mound State Resort Park, October 14th and 15th. And you can play in teams of four one or both days and we have a lot of great prizes lined up we're giving away cars for hole in one prizes lots of great lots of great prizes so come out and and you can find the entry form actually online at www.lakebarkleychamberofcommerce.com and we also want to give a special thanks to Lake Barkley Tourist Commission and the folks down there, the executive director, Bo Schott, and the office manager, Debbie Dodd. That's right. And we also want to mention they've got a new website if you get a chance. What's that URL? It's www.lakebarkley.org. Phenomenal website. Gorgeous Check website. it out. Good job, Bo. Hey, we appreciate you joining us here on Destinations, and we appreciate everyone that makes this possible. So until next week, have a great day.